Alright uh, guys, I'm not really sure where to start with this one, but uh, yeah, we're going to be fishing Cape May County, New Jersey today for uh, Red Drum. And uh, yeah man, they are elusive, hard to catch, hard to find. Conditions are not spectacular right now, the water's pretty dingy, there's only like a foot and a half, two feet of visibility. Take a look, this is my pink zoom that I'm using. And uh... I mean, yeah, it goes, you can see, now I'd say it's two feet of visibility. But for South Jersey, that's not bad. It's always dirty down here. It's just part of the deal. Other species of fish I might run into out here besides red drum would be striped bass, uh, maybe weak fish, maybe speckled trout, maybe flounder, bluefish, hickory shad, definitely tog. If I were to like drop some crabs along some structure, you know, there'd be some tog, but I'm not going to do any of that today. Uh, we're really hoping for the redfish. I mean, that's that's all we're here for. All kinds of ducks back here. I'm not sure what kind of ducks these are, but I know that they're on their migration, just like the other stuff that's out here. Fish are migrating. Ducks are migrating. Oh, we're on. We're on. Oh. Something. It's a, it's a bass. All right. We got a bass. All right. First fish. All right. Not the species of fish we're targeting, but not a bad little striper. Pink zoom fluke. Thought we might have had our first redfish there, but uh, yeah, it's a little striper. Not bad for the backwaters here, Cape May County. And we're gonna let him go. If uh, we can do it without, you know, getting soaked here. There he goes. Okay, cool. Didn't take too long to get a bite. It's good to get a bite from something. Just to know that this is not like totally dead water. You know, there are some fish around. So there's striped bass around. There's probably other species of fish around. I'll kind of take over the same spots. You know, they're. They're, they're very similar. Striped bass and redfish are very similar. Similar. Uh, they're both eating the same kinds of bait fish, same kind of shrimp, crabs, and um, you know where you find striped bass, a lot of times you'll find redfish. So good to get a little striper early on. See what else we can catch. So what we're trying to do is just kind of fish. Uh, the edges of this bank here, it's like marshy kind of stuff, shallow, three feet of water, reds are notorious for going shallow, you know, a lot of times, at least in other places, you'll see them tailing, you know, they'll be up in like six inches of water, rooting around for crabs and food and stuff. Uh, so we're just fishing all the little pockets on this sod bank here and hoping to get lucky. Oh, we're on. This might be the one, guys. Oh, it's a bass, it's a bass. Dang, I hope, I was hoping it was gonna be a red, but it's a bass. There we go. All right, at least there's some kind of life back here, you know? He ain't big. He had my hopes up. I thought he might have been some kind of exotic species, but it is just a striped bass. I'm gonna let him go. <laughs> Alright, it's looking pretty dead back here. There's definitely some bait fish around. There's spearing. I'm seeing quite a bit of spearing here and there. Not like spearing everywhere, but you know, seen some. And I haven't seen any kind of feeding, you know, no fish popping or swirling or anything, other than a couple of hickory shad. Did see some hickory shad, but as far as uh, game fish go, uh, there's not really, there's definitely not any feeding going on. But um, still have confidence going into this creek. Although I'm gonna go a little further and then turn around. Actually, I don't have much confidence in this creek. I lied. So far, all we've caught is two stripers, little ones. We just went up that creek a good ways and uh, I had a couple suspicious bites that I think were from small speckled trout. 
but um, right here is pretty good depth, five feet deep along this bank. It's as deep a water as I've found anywhere in that creek. And it's right here at the mouth, so it seems like there should be something hanging out here. Redfish and speckled trout are truly ghosts. Here's a fish, another bass. They're getting smaller and smaller. Alright, well it's good to see some striper life around. They're not big, but yeah, good to see. It's better than catching nothing, even though that's not our targeted species. But um, yeah, what I was saying was speckled trout and redfish are both just like very elusive and uh, difficult to locate, you know, just really hard to find. They're, they're in New Jersey in such low numbers. I mean, it's not like they're there and they're just hard to catch. I mean, that's not it at all. Uh, redfish are actually one of the easiest fish to catch. They hit all kinds of lures and baits. And, uh, you know, sure, you gotta, you gotta have like a good knack of fishing in order to be able to catch any kind of fish with consistency, but as far as it goes, I mean, redfish really, you know, they're, um, I'm looking at all these birds diving, but yeah, they're a pretty cooperative fish, is my point. So, it's just the fact that these fish are in such low numbers in New Jersey, makes them so elusive, hard to find, and thus hard to catch. Oh, getting a little shallow in here. Yeah, man, this looks like something out of a Florida redfish video. There would be some kind of reds in here. We have made it to the mouth of the inlet with nothing to show for our efforts other than a couple, well, three schooly sized stripers. And we're gonna go ahead take the kayak out. Tide's going out, so I probably don't need to drag it up this far, but uh, we're going to take a little walk around here. I mean, this looks awesome, so we're going to take a walk around and see what we can find. I'm going to throw this jig around, and here's all kinds of sand structure here, and uh, I don't know. Got my expectations pretty low. But um, we do have like, looks to be a nice trough running along shore here. Hoping but not seeing anything. I'm really psyched out of my mind about. I'm gonna go back into this slough along the beach. Maybe there's some deeper water somewhere. But uh, I mean, if this doesn't pan out, I'm gonna hop back in the kayak and start working my way back. Now if this trough had like five, six feet of water, I would have some confidence. Two to three feet of water, it's not great. Might possibly be something in here though. Give it a little longer. Oh wow, something hit this, okay. Yo, I saw it hit, I didn't even feel it. I don't know what it was. Might have been a little bass. Might have been anything. But I had a fish. Had a bite. So there's some some kind of life in here. Now we gotta catch something out of here. After seeing that. I don't I think it was a little bass. This is crazy. The waves are washing over this sandbar. And I mean, just the turbidity here. Like the dirty water. I mean it's just making it real dirty. Here we have a balloon. This is courtesy of some sort of person who let their balloon go. It's really great, you know, that people love to let the balloons go because then they just end up in the ocean. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of this. Just understand that like turtles and all kinds of marine life. Uh, so, nah. Turtles and all kinds of marine life eat these balloons, so it's a good idea to not, not let them fly away like that. 
definitely some helium left in there. But we're gonna go ahead and put that in our pocket. This water's just getting shallower. This doesn't look especially promising at all. Probably about time to turn back. Oh, look at that. Striper. I wonder if this is the same one I missed earlier. Let's check it out. Not a big fish by any stretch of the imagination. Well, schooly, but he was hanging out in just two feet of water in this in this trough right here, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna let her go. Actually, we're gonna let her go right on top of this sandbar. Where we can watch her swim away. Yeah, that fish is all good to go. All right, that's kind of cool. So finding stripers, I'm not finding the elusives, but it's better to catch something than to catch nothing. So this day I did not catch any redfish. Uh, I had a good time trying to catch them, uh, but then the next day I got an invite to fish on my buddy's boat. He was going to try fishing for these reds, and um, with the boat you kind of have the ability to cover a lot of water. You know, you can run and gun spots more so than you can do with the kayak, and we crushed redfish this day. Uh, this was the one day in 2016 that I caught Jersey redfish, and they were all cookie cutter size, probably 17 and a half to 20 and a half inches, give or take, uh, you know, I don't know, they were all, you know, these, these two to three year old redfish, and we were getting them on pink zooms, and I personally caught 20 of them, Dano caught about 20 of them, um, we had speckled trout and small stripers mixed in on the pink zoom flukes, and we found them stacked up just in one little spot, um, obviously, you're not seeing the background of this spot because it is one of the, you know, sacred Jersey redfish locations. And, uh, yeah, the world isn't ready for that. Uh, but there's a speckled trout release. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the uh, redfish failure. I had to throw some redfish clips in here just to keep it real for you guys. But, uh, I don't know, man. Thanks for watching. See you next time.